after you started the last third of the season last year? Um, my mindset was just to get better. Um, a lot of the scout team concepts are similar to the concepts we have in our offense. Um, so um, my goal is just to get better, improve timing, improve some mechanics. I still treated those as serious reps, as games reps, and um, they obviously helped me out. It's always great going against our defense. So whenever I have that opportunity, I take advantage of it. You mentioned mechanics. What got better for you mechanically? What did you think was wrong, I guess, in camp, and what did you have to fix? I don't know if anything was wrong. It was just, just tightening things up, um, just fixing some full board things, some, some timing things with the receivers. Um, so we, we sat up for practice working on those a lot, so they helped us out. We How saw that. Did you do it in high school? I, I didn't do much. Um, my junior year, I didn't, I didn't run at all in my, my uh, senior year. I, I had a little bit, but I was uh, definitely a post-out quarterback, a pocket passer up close recruited that. So when did you realize that you had this ability? I've always been athletic growing up. I played uh, all the sports, baseball, football, basketball, you name it. So um, the Coach Jake just did a great job just utilizing some of my athleticism, um, getting a lot of one-on-one -on -one matchups in space, and we're able to take advantage of it. We saw the photo you Instagram you in class. What, I'm just, what is your class schedule this semester? I know it's going to get a lot of exotic things with your major. So. Oh yeah, it's definitely a fun schedule. Um, Monday, Monday, Wednesday, Fridays, I have um, a thermodynamics class, a circus class. That was a video you saw. I was in my circus class, and then I take a physics class in a physics lab. You know, on Tuesdays and Thursdays, I'm in a matrix class, um, a management class for business minor, and then a computer class. How many hours, Josh? Sixteen. 16 hours, yes sir. Just what would it mean to this team? To, I mean, you're two wins away now from bowl eligibility. It's been a long time coming. What would it mean to you guys if you were able to kind of get that the extra practices, just to get into a bowl game after? It would mean a lot. Uh, you get Obviously, you get extra practices, so that's a lot of improvement for, for the younger guys on the team and a lot of development. And then just another opportunity for our seniors to get another game, a bowl game, a, a very meaningful game, uh, which is something that hasn't happened in a while. That was our goal coming into the season, and it's definitely right in front of us. So we just just got to keep plugging, keep working hard, and we'll get there. When you describe you as a wet noodle in trying to tackle you, <laughs> do you take that as a compliment? I do. That means I'm hard. I guess I'm hard to get on the ground. Um, I guess that showed a little bit in the game, um, elusiveness. I guess so. That just comes with just a lot of the off-season drills we do. We do a lot of agility drills, a lot of quickness drills. Um, side to side, lateral space drill. So Coach Lawson did a great job of working on that and working on flexibility, and, and they definitely helped in the game. How would you describe your running style? Which, which said there's a lot of vision has a lot to do with it. Yeah, I keep my eyes up, um, just looking for different lanes, different cutbacks. My my goal is is to score a touchdown or get out of bounds or just avoid being hit. So, um, so, so that's my goal. I feel like I just, I just do a great job of doing that. How sore have you? Woken up these last couple of weeks, not taking hits with the beginning. A lot of hits beginning of year. Now you're obviously taking a lot. You've been sore, been a lot of time in the cold stuff. Uh, yeah, soreness is with the game. Uh, it was a good soreness though, a playing soreness. So especially uh, waking up Sunday, I definitely felt sore, but I felt good. i um, just after the game. Um, so I've, I've been doing a good job of getting the cold tub and recovery and just healing up my body and it's helped a lot. Do you think you can manage going three more games, taking 20, 25 carries that when you are a game? Oh yeah, of course. Um, Try to do, do a good job of, of not taking too many hits. Of course, not, not being sacked always helps. The offensive line has definitely protected me, so that helps a lot. So I just got to uh, make sure I just protected myself in the running game. Josh, the biggest difference between you last November and this November? I would just say um, size. I put on obviously 30, about 20 pounds since, since last time I played. So that's definitely helping a lot. And then just um, experience in the offense. Well, after. I mean, when you come in as a freshman, you don't have to come in in the summer and you don't have a lot of time in the offense. So after a whole year in it and being under Coach Jake in it, it definitely helps you improve a lot. Josh, how many nicknames, suggestions for nicknames do you think you've gotten on Twitter? Oh, I, I've, seen, I've, seen a, I've, seen a, I've seen a good bit. They're, they're all funny. I like them all. Uh, people have fun with it. So, so have, I'm good a, to see it. Do you have a preferred one that you'd like um, everyone to run with? Um, a lot of the guys on the team call me like Astro, so that has a nice ring to it. Um, I like my name, of course, so <laughs> either one, but oh, I enjoy the nicknames. It's fun. Just, is that what part of the attention that, that, that you kind of expect to come when you kind of have the, the last two weeks that you've had? Oh, yeah, playing quarterback here, and, and obviously when, when you're successful, you're going to get a lot of the attention. But, I mean, either way, you just got to stay focused on the prize, stay focused on the goal. Uh, we're, we're at four wins. We still need to get two more to be bowl eligible. So my mind is definitely focused on that going how, forward. How do you do that? How do you kind of let not everything, let everything 
you know, keep, you know, keep it from going to your head. I mean, when you come to the complex, you're obviously, I um, guess, sheltered from all of that. Um, and football is the main focus. So it's just when you're going to class, but I just try to just stay focused on my schoolwork and football. I'm just taking it one day at a time. How much more notoriety and just walking around campus the past couple of days, how much more has you been recognized than usual? All my classmates and, and the people around school, they've done a great job. They've congratulated me, they've told me good job, good performance. So I really thank them for that. And I'm just thankful for that we got the win and I'm looking forward to moving forward. Is it harder to find time to study now that you're the number one quarterback as opposed to when there was a possibility you would redshirt? Or is there any difference? I wouldn't say there's a difference. When I was when I w thought I was being redshirted to say, um, I still prepared like as if I was a starter. My preparation was the same. I was in the film room a lot, studying the opponent, studying our offense and where I needed to get better. So my preparation has stayed the same. Um, it's definitely helped me. So I say it um, hasn't been tough finding more time to study. Mm -hmm. I've just kept my preparation the same. You talked about being a pro-style quarterback in high school. Have Coach Jake and Coach Jones encouraged you to run more? You know, wh When did that flip to kind of more of a dual-threat guy kind of happen? I wouldn't really say like I'm a runner. I run when needed to. I run when there's a play that's needed to be made. If people are covered down field, I'm going to make a play, get the first down, get out of bounds. So um, I wouldn't say they pushed me to. Obviously, we've had some design quarterback runs, which have helped out our offense, added another element. So um, they've, they've done a good job of establishing good game plans over the past couple of weeks, and, and they'll do a good job moving forward. After the South Carolina game, you're still saying, I wouldn't say I'm a runner. I mean, no, 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 no. I can run, but I'm not a running quarterback. Okay. That's what I say. <laughs> I, I'm, I can pass, I can run, I can do okay. whatever it takes for a team. Gotcha. So aerospace engineering, is that, how does that help you in football? Uh, I mean, as I've said in the past, it just helps with preparation. When you take, I guess, a rigorous major, um, you know what it takes to study. The, 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 the time it takes to study something fully and fully understand something. So just the study habits I use in school, I use the same in football. Last question. 